Hi, I'm Render Tom, and this is a quick tutorial on how to use Rollit to drive a tractor. Select rear and front wheels and apply Rollit to both of them. Not much seems to happen right now, but if we take a look at position property, we can see that Rollit added method which drives position based on rotation value. Go to the beginning of animation and set the keyframe to rear wheels rotation with a value of 0. At the end of animation set its value to be 3 evolutions. Since front wheel is twice as small as the rear wheel, we can reference rear wheel's rotation via expression multiplied by 2. Check it out. And off they go. Bye bye, bye bye, bye bye. Let's just say that our rear wheel is the main wheel that drives the tractor. So, one could think that parenting main body to the rear wheel will make the tractor run. Well, not really. Nah, no, no. What if we parented main body's position to rear wheel's position? That could work, but that would introduce more headache and more calculations to do. So let's just do something else. What we actually need is to create an intermediate layer that would stick to rear wheel and point to front wheel. So let's do this. Create a layer and move its anchor point to the left or to the right, whatever works. Parent its position to rear wheel's position. This way one end of our axis layer is always stuck on rear wheel's center. On rotation property, apply this expression. In a nutshell, this expression calculates the angle between two points, in this case the angle between rear and front wheels. In case the axis is pointing to opposite direction, simply add 180 degrees to the expression. Kaboom! No matter where the front and rear wheels are, the axis will be always pointing from the rear wheel to the front wheel. Now all that's left to do is to parent the main body to the axis and the spoiler to the main body. That's it. And now we're rolling. Kaching. That wasn't that difficult, was it? For the secondary animation, let's use this expression, which takes axis rotation value at current time, minus time offset, and maps it to some other value, in this case rotation amplitude. Values 5 and 12 are the minimum and maximum values I observed in axis rotation. Feel free to adjust those if your axis wobbles more than mine. Alright, so grab this expression and dump it to main body's lamps, seat, shifting gear and pipe. Adjust some values slightly so the animation doesn't end up being too uniform. Alright, looks awesome. To make our scene stationary, we have to precomp our animation into new composition and change its size. In order for our tractor to always stay centered in a composition, we have to subtract rear wheel's X position from our precomp's position. It's not that difficult, check it out. All that's left to do is to add some smoke. Since this is not a Red Giants particular tutorial, I will let you poke around in smoke composition to see how it's built on your own. So that's it, that's how you roll it baby. Thanks for watching and see you in other tutorials. Cheers!